Have you ever looked at successful families like the Waltons or Dangates and thought, how did they do it? How did they turn a single idea or asset into a lasting legacy? Well, in today's episode, we're uncovering the secrets behind some of the world's greatest family empires. By the end, you won't just feel inspired. You'll be equipped to rethink the opportunities in your own life, no matter how tough things seem right now. Welcome to ArevaWorld.com, where we inspire global success one story at a time. Let's dive in. What is generational wealth? Generational wealth isn't just about making money today. It's about creating assets and opportunities that benefit your family for years, maybe even centuries to come. It's about leaving a legacy that speaks for you long after you're gone. But here's the truth. Every big name you know, Gucci, Ferrari, Rockefeller, Dangote, they didn't start out as icons. They started small, struggled big, and built something extraordinary brick by brick. Their stories are living proof that no matter where you're starting from, the future is yours to build. But they had something in common, vision and grit. Let me show you what I mean with these five powerful stories. One, Aliko Dangote, turning challenges into opportunities. Let's start close to home with Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote. Growing up in Kano, Nigeria, Dangote learned the basics of business from his grandfather. But when he began his journey, it wasn't glamorous. He traded simple goods like sugar and rice. Profits were slim. The risks? Huge. Yet he kept going. When Dangote decided to move into cement production, people laughed. They doubted him. After all, Nigeria's infrastructure was a mess. Electricity was unreliable, transport was expensive, and local expertise was limited. But Dangote didn't let the naysayers stop him. He stayed laser-focused. He worked tirelessly to build his own cement factories. Today, Dangote Cement is the largest in Africa. What does this teach us? Here's the takeaway. Big challenges often hide the biggest opportunities. The road will be tough, but resilience will get you there. 2. The Rockefellers Mastering Discipline Now, let's travel back in time to the 1800s and meet John D. Rockefeller, one of history's wealthiest men. Rockefeller's childhood wasn't easy. His father was unreliable, often leaving the family to fend for themselves. From a young age, Rockefeller worked odd jobs to support his family, but he had one secret weapon, discipline. He saved every penny he could and eventually started refining oil. The industry was chaotic back then. Companies were collapsing left and right. Rockefeller? He stayed focused on efficiency, detail, and long-term strategy. His approach turned standard oil into a giant, creating a family legacy that still thrives today. So, what's the lesson here? Wealth isn't just about making money. It's about managing it well. Save. Reinvest. Think long-term. 3. Sam Walton. Turning setbacks into success. Now, let's talk about Sam Walton, the man behind Walmart. Sam grew up during the Great Depression. He learned to hustle young, helping his family make ends meet. His first store? It failed, thanks to a bad lease agreement. Most people would have quit right there. But Sam didn't. He dusted himself off, learned from the failure, and opened another store. This time, he had a fresh idea, offering low prices to rural communities. That simple idea turned into a global retail empire. What can we take away from this? Failure isn't a dead end. It's a lesson. Learn from it, adapt, and keep moving forward. 4. Frank Mars. Sweet success through perseverance. Let's move to the world of chocolate. Meet Frank Mars, the man who gave us the Milky Way. As a child, Frank contracted polio, which limited his mobility. But instead of letting it define him, he found purpose in making candy. His early attempts at building a business? They failed. Repeatedly. But Frank kept experimenting. Eventually, with the help of his son Forrest, they hit gold with the Milky Way bar. That success grew into the Mars empire we know today. Here's the insight from his story. Failure is part of the process. The key is to keep going until you find what works. 5. John Seji Tata. Dreaming big. Finally, let's talk about John Seji Tata, the visionary behind Tata Steel. 
In the late 1800s, during British colonial rule, Tata dreamed of building India's first steel plant. People called him crazy. There were no resources, no infrastructure, and endless political obstacles. But Tata believed in his dream. He traveled the world, learned from the best, and built the foundation for what would become India's industrial revolution. What does this show us? Dream big, and don't be afraid to take on challenges that seem impossible. Vision backed by action can change not just your life, but the world. What do these stories have in common? Do you see the pattern here? None of these icons had it easy. They faced rejection, failure, and obstacles that would have made most people quit. But they didn't stop. They pushed forward. They adapted. Here's the best part. Their stories aren't just inspiring. They're proof that you can do it too. You don't need to have all the answers today. You just need to take that first step. Start a business. Master a skill. Learn how to manage your finances. Every great legacy starts with a single action. At arevaworld.com, we're here to help you take that step. Check out our Wealth Mastery course, where we'll guide you through strategies to build, grow, and protect your wealth. Remember, the greatest empires often rise from the toughest struggles. Don't let challenges discourage you. They're shaping you, preparing you for something extraordinary. If these families could do it, so can you. Thank you for watching. Share this episode with someone who needs a little inspiration today, and let's keep building a world where success stories like these are the norm. Until next time, remember, every great legacy starts with a struggle.